guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we're going to learn an advanced setting technique called spin setting. Before you continue watching this video, make sure that you watch all of my setting fundamental tutorial videos and practice those techniques first so you have a strong setting foundation before trying to spin set. You can find those video links in the description box below. Also, if you like this Elevate Volleyball tee or this Elevate Lightweight hoodie, all classic Elevate apparel is now 20% off. So order your apparel today. First, let's talk about the application of the spin set. This technique should be used when you cannot get your feet set directly under the ball, but you still want to use your hands to keep your hithers in rhythm. This usually happens when the pass is too low or off the net. Now I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process to help you learn the spin set technique. Start by standing on the three meter line in the middle, which is generally where you will be executing this technique. Face the baseline like you are running toward the pass and keep your left leg back and hands at your waist. Then extend off of your right leg like you are jumping. Drive your left knee up. Lift your hands in a setting formation to your hairline and rotate your body to the right. All four movements should be done while rotating toward the outside hitter target, like you are squaring up in the air. Once you feel comfortable performing the spin set from a standstill, then try performing this move one to two steps further back. You can now initiate the movement with a walking start. Your goal is to work your way back to the ideal passing target position and increase the speed of your running start and spin set technique until it feels game-like. Once you can perform the full spin set technique with a running start without a ball, you will then perform this technique with a ball in hand. Focus on running with your hands down, bringing the ball up at your hairline and releasing the ball when you are fully squared up. The final step in this progression is to set the ball from a game-like toss that simulates a pass that is low and off the net. It's critical not to leave before the ball is tossed so you don't build a bad habit of moving before you see where the ball is going first. Part of the spin set technique requires you to jump up and toward the ball and drift laterally. If you execute this technique correctly, you should still try to get your feet as close to the ball as possible before jumping. You should be drifting laterally toward the ball, so be patient and receive the ball with elbows bent in a proper setting position. Keep your torso upright and minimize any leaning, otherwise you will not be able to rotate quickly and transfer enough energy into the ball. What's powerful about the spin set technique is not only can you keep your team in a better offensive rhythm with a greater variety of passes, you can still set any position whether it be left, middle, back row, or right side. The only difference between setting each position is where your arms and hands finish. Be careful not to abuse the spin set technique and only use it when necessary. Performing this technique does look cooler and more athletic, but all the additional rotational movements, spacing, and timing required decreases the consistency and accuracy of the set. 
Plus, it requires more energy to execute, so doing this 1 to 200 times per game will become very tiring. There's a reason why the top setters in the world will still simply square up to their outside hitter and execute simpler setting moves whenever possible, and only save spin setting for difficult passes. Thanks for watching this video. If you're looking to buy volleyball gear and equipment, then use my discount code in the description box to get 5% off volleyball shoes, balls, apparel, and much more at allvolleyball.com. Don't forget to share this tutorial with your volleyball friends and teammates who would like to learn how to spin set. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more volleyball tutorial videos and volleyball and training content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.